Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Donna, so welcome. And in today's video, we're going to be unboxing an Emilio Pucci item. Now, it's the first time I talk about Emilio Pucci on this channel, so this makes me very excited. So without further ado, let's get started. So for those of you who don't know, Emilio Pucci or Pucci is an Italian fashion house or fashion label. And Emilio Pucci, what's very interesting about him is that he was a politician as well as a fashion designer, which I feel is very unique. You don't really see that every day. And the Pucci label, what they're really known for is for their colorful geometric designs and patterns. They have a very vibrant, colorful kind of style or aesthetic, which makes it very different when you compare it to other fashion houses or labels out there at the moment. So I have wanted to add some Pucci to my collection for quite some time now. I just never really found the right item or purchase. And so I'm very happy to be lucky enough to do that today. Now, what I'm going to be unboxing was actually a gift from my sisters, a birthday gift. So I didn't purchase it myself. However, I'm very, very happy to finally have some Emilio Pucci in my collection. So this is the item I'm going to be unboxing. As you can probably tell by the size of this box, it is a small item, so an SLG. As you can see, the box does say Emilio Pucci in gold. And it comes in a cute little dust bag like this. Emilio Pucci again on the dust bag. And it has a really cute pink drawstring. And here it is guys, so it is a card holder. And as you can see, it's very vibrant. There are a lot of colors to it. A lot of patterns as well, designs. And what I really like about this one is that it does mix some more vibrant, colorful, bold colors with some more neutral whites, blacks, cream colors. So it kind of does make the perfect blend. I love the fact that the, the card slots are kind of oval, so it's not just a straight pocket. So yes, in fact, it is a classic card holder, but because of its funky shapes, it does make it a little bit different and kind of unique at the same time. So in the front, you can see there's kind of like one type of pattern and it does say Emilio in the corner. The front does say Emilio Pucci Firenze. I'm just gonna try to focus that. There you go. And the back kind of has more of a squiggly or wavy pattern with a little flower and once again Emilio in the corner. So in this card holder you can fit, I would say, at least four cards. In the center you can kind of put an extra card or a couple of other cards or some documents, some paper bills. As you can see, and the stitching was great, I just realized the stitching is in the light pink. So if you take a look. It is a full leather card holder, made in Italy. Uh, the inside does say made in Italy. Now this, I got, did get all the information because Emilio Pucci isn't one of those brands that you kind of find everywhere. It's kind of, it's a lesser known fashion house, so their items are, especially in Canada or Montreal, a little bit harder to come across. This particular card holder was purchased at a department store called the Hudson's Bay. It's kind of like a Bloomingdale's for the States. And my sisters did pay around $200, $230 for this card holder, which is a reasonable price when you do compare it to Louis Vuitton and other, other luxury card holders in the same category. So yeah, this video was kind of short and sweet. That's all I have to say for today. I'm very excited to start using my card holder and I'm just so happy to finally have some Pucci in my collection. You don't understand how <laughs> happy I am to add new designers along the way in my collections. So if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell. You guys know the drill by now and leave all your comments, questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer all your, your comments and questions. And I guess I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.